So, that, so the notion of Galois group uh, comes by, from studying symmetries of solutions of polynomial equations like x squared equals 2. We observe that x squared equals 2 does not have solutions in rational numbers, in fractions. Square root of 2 is not a rational number. But then the next step is to see that actually um, square root of 2 and negative square root of 2 are, are two solutions of the same equation. And therefore, exchanging them gives us a symmetry of those solutions. In this case, there are only two solutions because the equation has degree 2, x squared. If we had an equation like x cubed equals 2, we would have three solutions, and there would be more symmetries, more transformations between the solutions. So Evariste Galois, the French mathematician, the French prodigy, who actually died in a duel uh, at the age of 20 in, uh, uh, in 1832, so he uh, had this beautiful idea that we should, if we have an equation, we shouldn't try to solve it, but we should start by looking at all possible symmetries of its solution. Even if solutions, even if we don't know the solutions themselves, we can still study those symmetries and understand something important about the equation. And that's what led to this notion of Galois group. It is really just a group of symmetries of solutions of an algebraic equation. And that is the instrument, the tool, which mathematicians use to, um, to study those equations just the same way as a physicist would use a microscope or a telescope to understand distant stars.